Hello, beautiful people. It's your girl, Nasa, with Expansive Taste. Here, we expand our realities to ultimate greatness and learn to receive the best out of life. And today, I'm talking about, um, I'm going to share some tips on how to identify a psychopath. And this is based on my own experience. I know there are plenty of like research-based articles that will give you some, I don't know, some general signs, but I have personal experience um, with a certain psychopath. And I wrote a song about him called Mr. Selling on the Block. I actually wrote two songs about him, Mr. Selling on the Block and Long Paragraph Text. And I have been teasing this song for quite a while because the first time I performed it was um, two years ago. But now it's officially produced and it's out there. It's available on all streaming platforms. Um, and yeah, it's like a funky, funky pop song. Some of these signs that I'm going to share with you, like by itself, like it's maybe a yellow flag or just like one singular red flag but when you put it all together and fit it into one specific person you can't deny that there's something very very wrong with the way this person chooses to live and think and behave and one of the major signs of a psychopath is like their impulsivity like they just don't really fear consequences they just do whatever not really caring about consequences um and that that was my whole experience with him so the thing about this guy mr selling on the block is that he was a dealer he sold weed and i don't have a problem with people who sell weed and smoke weed i once was um a stoner but the weird thing about him that is definitely giving weirdo energy is that he didn't smoke weed he didn't like it so i just felt it was really strange that he would be so in love with money that he would sell something that he wouldn't ever use like that is just so mm, like something about that is just so dirty like it's not even like one of those hard drugs where just like oh i don't know about okay you shouldn't be selling those kind of like narcotics and whatnot but um yeah, it's like, it's it's weed. You're selling it and you don't... Anyways, um, another sign that he was um, a psychopath is the fact that he's like, he was rarely ever sober. Someone who cannot be sober cannot be trusted. You never really know who someone is if you don't experience them sober. And I can't really be sure that there was any time that he wasn't drunk. And it wasn't just alcohol because here's a short little story. Um, he ended up like going to a bar or something and getting in a fight. You know, violence is a sign of psychopathy, very impulsive. Um, he gets in a fight and he breaks his wrist and then he tells me you know how this happened and whatnot and he also because he like you know fractured something in his wrist he's in a cast and he's also being prescribed painkillers and you know i he was definitely using those painkillers and the thing is he was also bragging about the situation um because him apparently having an injured wrist um exempted him from going to class so he was like oh, I got in a fight and I hurt myself and I got painkillers and I don't have to go to class and I just get excused because of my injury. A wrist, guys. An injured wrist was keeping him from going to class for weeks. Another sign that he's a psychopath is that he has no respect for time. Um, and so he could agree to meet up somewhere or pick you up or, you know, whatever it is. And he's going to be late all the time. He's going to be late and he knows he's going to be late. And he'll tell you he'll be there in 30 minutes or whatnot. But he's not going to just be like 10 minutes late, 15 minutes late. He's going to be three hours late. And of course, he never responds to text messages in a timely fashion. Um, but the other thing is, like when it comes to like late night calls, you know, the booty call, it's not even going to be like at midnight. It's not even 2 a.m. He'll call because he just has zero respect for your time, he'll call at 4 a.m. when you're definitely sleeping. He will call at 6 a.m. because that's when he's about to go to sleep and he doesn't have any kind of consideration or he just has way too much, uh, 
way too much audacity. Like, I don't even want to use the audacity because, like, audacity is a, a word I respect. But um, he has the nerve. He has the nerve to contact you at the worst times asking for the stupidest things. And the thing about a psychopath is that they're not really going to hide that much from you. They will very much tell you exactly who they are in other ways. They will tell you stories about how other people feel about them. And they will tell stories about these crazy things that they've done. And they'll tell you about the many different ways that they disrespected their ex um, and just how toxic all their relationships are. They will tell you, you know, it's it's your job to actually listen. And the thing is, I only knew this guy for like six weeks. That was only like a six week kind of situationship. And I was just like, I'm tired of your crap because you're the worst person I have ever met. And I'm glad it didn't last any longer than that. Like, wow, I was truly protected and I'm glad I had the self-esteem to just like walk away from that. Even when I literally had zero self-esteem and self-worth, I knew I was worth at least more than what he was doing. But I also would have saved some time if I looked up his arrest records. So there is a little tip for you in the Google search bar, type in first name, last name, arrest records. And if you want to fine tune it, um, add in the state that you guys are in. But if they have lived in another state, go ahead and check that state too. It's public information and we got to at least check their arrest records. Come on. So if I had checked then, I at least would have seen that he was already arrested for a DUI, which is um, very much like something that happens to some impulsive people who don't really care much about consequences but also that was like at the age of 20. now at the age of 26 he has like four arrest records i do know that at least one of those was a dui and at least one of those was like um cocaine possession and then the most recent one was domestic violence so i'm definitely glad i left him where he is um and i would encourage you to search whichever guy you're hanging out with, make sure you know his arrest records, okay? They might reveal a lot about him. One way you can definitely tell he's a psychopath is because you can see that he just loves negative energy and he loves to find ways to make you angry and get reactions out of you. One thing in particular, um, like in the very beginning, he admitted to me, oh, I like crazy women. Um, and I was just thinking, well, I'm not a crazy woman, but whatever. Um, but I found out, oh, he doesn't like crazy woman. He likes making women crazy. Like he, he did so much to try to piss me off. And I'm literally such a chill girl, um, that it took a while. It took a while for him to actually get to me. For example, one show that he loved watching was Blue Ridge and he would just constantly point at the other girls and give them compliments and talk about how hot they are. And he just like tried to check to see if I was jealous and I was just like, okay, whatever, <laughs> I don't care. And then it turned him into doing like mind games and being all like, so, you know, I, I heard some things about you and I'm just like, what did you hear about me? And that actually kind of got to me because I was just like kind of anxious and paranoid. And I was like, what did you hear about me? Like, please tell me who's talking about me, who's gossiping. What have you heard? What have you discovered? Meanwhile, he probably never even heard anything about me. Um, and he might have just like been saying stuff to make me anxious because, you know, he liked that kind of reaction. And he was smiling as I was like trying to ask him and egg him on to like reveal what he discovered about me um, or whatever people were saying about me but it was just it was just a mind game to him and then it just turned into name calling and telling me that I was annoying that my outfit was stupid that my voice was annoying my laugh was annoying he would just say anything to get me to defend myself meanwhile it was like all unprovoked I was just minding my own business and he just wanted to find a reason to make me angry another thing about psychopaths is that they really just don't respect boundaries at all you could tell them to stop doing a thing you could tell them to stop you can tell them hey you're crossing the line you're doing too much and they'll get mad at you for setting a boundary and if it's something physical like they won't even stop until you literally push them away and to explain the situation more i'm going to read the lyrics of mr selling on the block to um you know give you just more details and hints um he's going to ask to um do it raw don't do it raw 
always use a condom and don't let him pressure you into doing something that is um, very unsafe for your health. I don't think you should get that close to anyone in general um, unless you're like very much like on the path to getting married. Um, but always have a condom. If he doesn't want to use his condoms, if he doesn't want to go get them, like make sure you have some. Uh, so he's going to try to involve himself in your life um, and hang out with your girlfriends, but he won't ever like invite you to hang out with his guy friends. Also, he's going to only give you attention under certain conditions, usually related around sex, and he's gonna have the audacity to ask to record you guys doing the deed. But other than that, like, you know, there's there's no attention. You're gonna be ignored. Most of the things I mentioned in the song I already mentioned in this video, but he's also going to just be a liar and um, his home is going to be filthy, especially his bathroom. It's going to be absolutely disgusting. Um, and yeah, that's that's a psychopath. And if you do have my book, Miss the Point, that's available on Amazon, you're going to read all about him on um, chapter 19. And yeah, so there's a fun little story about uh, the time I met the devil. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for making it to this point in the video. I really appreciate you. Um, I'm so happy that I made it above 400 subscribers. I've had this channel for like eight years. It has taken a lot of time, but there was a journey and this transformation that I had to go through. And I'm so happy to be sharing all this knowledge that I've learned um, with you guys now. So please comment, like, share, and subscribe. I really do need your help. That is all, beautiful people. I send you my love. Mwah. Bisous.